Thank you for purchasing the Easy Mount Sign Laminating System. This cold laminating machine is available in 1400 and 1600 widths. Please ensure your machine is level before operation. The roller pressure is applied via two pressure wheels, one on each side of the machine. It is important to put the same pressure on each side. This is done by winding the wheels down until they go loose. This means the rollers are now touching. If more pressure is required, turn each wheel the same amount, about half a turn or full turn. The Easy Mount sign is fitted with a Magic Eye safety feature that will stop the rollers if the operator puts their hands too near the rollers. The Magic Eye is overridden in foot pedal mode. When you have selected step, this will activate the foot pedal. In foot pedal mode, the machine will only run when the pedal is being pressed. As soon as you take your foot off the pedal, the machine will stop. While you have your foot on the pedal, you can press the drive switch to continue and then release your foot off the foot pedal for a continuous drive. The Easy Mount sign is fitted with a speed control running from 0 to 4 meters per minute. All Easy Mount sign models feature an emergency stop as standard. Place your backing paper on the bottom roller as demonstrated and line up with the top roll of film. Lift the rollers to their maximum height and thread the backing paper over the bottom roller and out of the exit plate. As previously demonstrated, load the laminating film on top and thread as before and add tension if required to ensure there are no creases in the film. A print can then be sent through the machine that is narrower than the laminating film without adhesive sticking to the rollers and a gap can be left between prints and when the print is cut out it will be laminated on the front and the backing paper will drop off the back of your print. For ease of use lay some double sided tape along the cardboard core and remove the release liner so that the cardboard tube is tacky. The film will load from the bottom of the roll on all standard wound films and will tack directly onto the double sided tape. Lift the rollers to their maximum height, separate the laminating film from the release paper and lay onto the top roller. Feed your vinyl, which should be wider than your laminate, from the front through to the back of the machine, ensuring that the print is between the rollers and out into the exit plate. The rollers can now be lowered onto the paper or vinyl, then overlap your printed matter, press continuous and start laminating. Add tension to make the film taut over the roller. When laminating prints that are smaller than your prints, ensure you use a backing paper to stop the film sticking to the rollers. To load the film, make sure the mandrels are on the right way. The prongs should face into the machine. You can then slide the film onto the top mandrel at the back of the machine. The Easy Mount sign is fitted with a release liner take-up mandrel located at the top of the machine in front of the film mandrel. Place an empty cardboard core onto the take-up mandrel and put back onto the machine again ensuring the prongs face forward to the front of the machine. There are numerous ways to load the film onto the Easy Mount sign. An alternative method is to again lift the rollers to their maximum, put your film onto the release liner take-up, peel the film off the release liner and fold about 4 inches back on itself. Then feed the film through the rollers and pull tight and upwards. Then using a bit of adhesive, tape the film to your roll of laminate. Check that the film is tight and smooth to the roller. Then put through the plain leading edge of your print and square it off to the back plate. The rollers can then be dropped onto the print and either put your foot on the foot pedal or press continuous. Adjust tension if required. Remove laminating film from the machine. Peel back the first couple of inches of release paper from the print and apply to the board, working from the centre out by hand or squeegee. Then use the rollers of the machine to mount the print onto the board smoothly. Drop the rollers so that they grip the board, not crush it. Place the print to be mounted over the top roller 
and peel off the release paper as the print is being mounted onto the board. The print is then mounted to the board and ready for trimming. If you apply too much pressure to the rollers with the pressure wheels, the print going through the rollers will crease. To stop this happening, lift the rollers and adjust to the correct pressure, i.e. the wheels go loose. If you do not have enough tension on the film, you may get creasing of the film over the rollers. By applying a little tension, this will smooth the film out.